you guys my name is G and welcome to my channel today's video I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on a new grow light and I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on some of my plants from my last video if you saw my houseplant tour video um, I have a little bit of a new growth and I changed a couple of plants around and did a couple of new things so I'm gonna be updating you guys on that so a little bit about the grow light um, a company called spider farmer reached out to me they were really nice to send me this for review i'm not getting paid and i'm not making any money off of this i'm simply just going to review this i'm going to use it um it's a light that you can use for your indoor plants so i'm going to be using it for my house plants and you can also use this in your tent for veg to flower um so i'm also going to be doing a series on that it'll probably be later down in the later down in the future so if you're interested in that definitely stay tuned i will be testing this out in my grow tent but first i'm going to be using it for my house plants so i'm going to be removing my grow light that i have there now i'm going to be replacing it with this and then i'll be updating you guys in a month maybe for a couple of months i will use this and see what it's like so yeah let's get into the unboxing and get into the video all right so here is what the box looks like again this is an led grow light this is their 1000 watt dimmable grow light and let's go ahead and open it up again the company is called spider farmer i'm also i'm gonna leave um links down below i don't make any money off of them they're just if you're interested um, and if you keep up with my updates interested in buying just go ahead and check out those links all right here we go this is Ooh, I love this already. So here's what the, what it looks like. So all of these small little squares is where the light comes from. This is really sleek. I really like the way it looks so far compared to the one that I have already that I purchased myself. And then the great thing about this is that it does have a dimmable feature. I'm gonna have to read the directions to make sure. It also comes with your ropes and clips that you can use for your tent, so that's really nice too. All right, so reading some of these instructions or assembly instructions. The LEDs are actually Samsung LEDs, so that's really good quality. I'm really happy with that. So there's assembly instructions on how to put them, you know, hook them up in your tent, how to use the dimming switch, which is actually on the back of this. Let me show you guys. This is the, your dimming switch. Um, it's really sleek. I really like the way this looks. Like I'm really happy with how this looks. Um, it has a little bit of weight to it, and I think it's because of these two things on top. But yeah, so far, just out of the box, it looks really simple to assemble, to use, and I really like the way it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of read through these, and then I'm gonna install it. Uh, right on top of my plant and i'll be right back to show you guys all right so i'm going to be using the clips that came with the light which is the same ones that you can use in your tent and i think i'm just gonna kind of put them together so i just want to show you guys you just clip the two ends on each side so i just clipped that one clip this one onto here and then you can adjust the string just by pulling it so it's really easy to do um so i just wanted to show you guys a close-up of that so once you have all your clips hooked on on each side, it should look something like this so that it just hangs like that. All right, guys, so here is the light installed. I had to do a little bit of cable management because these, these strings are just kind of a lot. And then I tried my best to get it straight. I don't know if that's going to... I'll probably work on the cables a little bit more, but just for the sake of the video, please don't come for me about the cables i'm gonna try to clean them up a little bit more but for now this will do i just want to show you guys what the light looks like so here is what the light looks like so this is at the lowest setting with the dimmable feature um it's getting dark in here too so it's a little hard to tell but as you can see this corner is lightly lit so the only thing is that the um power button is up here and then here you can increase the lights. As you can see, that's getting a lot brighter. So you do have a setting of 20. 
40, 60, 80, and then max. So I'm gonna put it at about, let's say 50. See if you guys can see a difference there. Just have to step on my step stool to get up there, but I recommend if you're gonna install it the way that I am, connect it to a smart plug. That way you can just turn it on and off with the smart plug and you don't have to climb up to press the on button every single time. But to dim it, you are gonna have to kind of reach up. Um, I don't actually, I think I can actually reach it from here. I don't need the step stool, but um, I did need it to install it. So that's why it's still here. All right, so this is what it looks like at 50. So I still don't have a whole lot of light over here, but I guess that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do max. Ooh, that's super bright. All right, that's at the max and it almost looks like daytime in here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the light. I mean, it's recommended for houseplants. I love the dimmable feature. I really, really love that. Um, so if you do have more delicate plants that can't take on the full brightness of this, you can dim it. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out. Please look forward to my next video, my update video on the light. Um, and if you're interested, again, I'm gonna leave the links down below. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a quick update on my plants like I mentioned. So some new growth updates. This one is my um, Bro Marks Fantasy. I think in my last video, I showed you guys how I had to chop this plant because it wasn't giving me any um, decent leaves. The leaves kept um, coming in dry. They kept breaking. So this is um, a new growth. This is a new leaf that I got finally after the chop. It originally gave me this really, really tiny leaf right here that you can see. This was the first leaf that came out after the chop. And this is the first full leaf. So I'm really, really happy with this. Um, and now it has another leaf coming in. So I'm really happy, looking forward to seeing how that one turns out. Next, I have a new leaf coming in on my Melanochrysum by Veracusum. And these leaves are looking beautiful. I don't remember if I had this leaf yet in the last video, but this is the newest leaf and we have a new one coming in on that. Um, the rest of these are still the same. Um, I moved my Alocasia phrytic over here and I repotted it into a little bit of a smaller pot to see if it recovers. Um, my plow money is over here recovering. It's not giving me the best leaves. So we're gonna see if that one recovers. This is my recovering um, Melanochrysum. It gave me this leaf and now it's bringing in a new leaf, but it doesn't look, it still looks pretty small. And that's probably because I did chop this one and kind of started the new growth over on that one. Um, I moved my variegated Monstera into this huge 10 inch pot because the even though the plant itself is small, the roots are massive. Like they are so huge. They're gonna keep outgrowing any small pot that I try to put it in. So I put it into this big pot and I moved it into this corner. Um, so I hope it, you know, settles in. I just did this probably like yesterday. So I hope it settles in nicely. And then I'll be adding a nice um, moss pole to this soon. So we're gonna let that um, do its thing right there. These are my Ethereums, um, my, Crystallinum silver. This is my brand new leaf. If you watched my last video, my Magnificum had a really ugly uh, yellow browning leaf. And this is the brand new leaf that just came out and I'm so happy with it. It does have a little bit of damage. It um, probably didn't have the best humidity to grow in. And that's why it kind of has all these scars. It has this hole in it. But nonetheless, it's the first leaf that I've gotten since I bought the plant back in December. Um, I did buy it overseas, so it took a really long time for it to recover. And then during the winter, I just didn't have the best conditions for it. So I'm really happy with the first leaf that I got. I mean, it's huge. I think it's still growing. It's still pretty soft. Um, and yeah, this one's, I'm super happy with that one. I think this one was still growing in the last video as well. This is my brand new, um, what's the name of this plant? my pasta zanum this is the brand new leaf i think it was still growing in in the last video so i wanted to show you guys that one I'm really happy with that the way that one came out um and then i don't remember i have a new leaf coming in on my uh, ethereum clap platy um 
Toya is still thriving. This one, I've repotted it. Um, I did have it in a smaller pot in the last video and it was growing out of the pot already. So I did put it in a bigger pot and I do have it trying to climb up the moss pole. So that one is looking really good in this new pot. I also repotted this one into this pot. It did have pretty big um, roots and it is growing really, really long. So I have it kind of trailing here on the side against this. My um, Hoya fun fungi is even longer now. I don't remember if you guys seen this in the last video, but there's no new leaves, but it, this is just growing really long. And I think that's pretty much it. Everything else I've kind of moved around. Um, I haven't really repotted anything. And I have my allocations down here. They're all, they're both putting in a new leaf right now. And then the last thing that I moved around was I used to have my Rapidophora tetrasperma over here, but now I moved it over here in this corner. And that one is just pretty much grow outgrowing the moss bowl. So I'm probably be having to chop that one soon. Oh, and actually one more thing is I finally got my Wally Grows in. They were out of stock for a while and I really wanted the white ones. And then I repotted my, um, my pothos. This is my Marble Queen. And then I have the uh, Neon Pothos here. So I just potted up those two together. I think they're going to look really pretty when they start to grow out. And then over here I have my Skindapsis Exotica and the Skindapsis um, Satin, I believe, Silver Satin. So this one's a lot smaller. So I potted those up together as well. I think it's going to look really cute when they start to um, grow out. I really like mixing plants that way it saves me space and it gives it a nice it just gives it a nice look and they look nice and full and i just haven't had a chance to mount them up so maybe in my next um, update video you guys will be able to see where i mount these and how the growth has been coming along so stay tuned for that so that concludes today's video if i forgot anything about the grow light that you want to know please leave me a comment below i will make sure to respond or just go ahead and check out the links check out the website for more information again i'm not making any money off of this this is going to be my review on using the light i'm going to be testing it out i will update you guys and i'm also going to be testing it out in my grow tent like i mentioned before um so if you're interested in that please subscribe so you can stay tuned for my future videos if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys um i have a new growth point on this um melanochrysum by veracusa oops breaking shit